Oh, hi there. Oh my god. I I like to take all my clothes off and run around. This prevents streaking. Oh god. Alright. WWE shop unboxing. Oh, I wish I had my old phone back. It just looks too zoomed in. Uh, pretty funny that I'm doing this. It was that money in the bank on Sunday. So I'm going to be unboxing one of these in a few another one of these in a few months for a different person and this plaque also is outdated since it's no longer Becky two belts limited edition piece of the ring how many did they do 350 I got 51. Out of 350. Let's take a good look at this. So I could talk about money in the bank, I guess, while I'm doing this. So we bought tickets off the Game Time app. Um, don't ever use that. Uh, it's legit, I know. But the tickets turned out to be... They weren't fake. The lady said something about, like, they were already refunded. We paid $281 for a $404 ticket. So we were like, fuck yeah, great. We get there, they don't scan. We go in, we go to the box office, they don't scan. Or we go to the box office and uh, she says they're fake, tells us that. So we try the mobile ones that we had because we had a PDF that we printed. That didn't work. So uh, we're looking for tickets. We're like, all right, I mean, we could get nosebleeds and then use these tickets to try to get down to the floor and see if anybody's in these seats and then fucking beat the shit out of that guy. Um, but we were like... What do you have on the floor? It turned out they had full price floor seats, which were cheaper than they were online. They were $404. Uh, even though everything I saw on the XL Center website had it as $500. But they were 404 bucks, which was the full retail price. So we were like, you know what? If we want to sit on the floor. Let's do it. There's a couple rows higher, closer to the ring. So whatever. It looked like there was somebody in one of the seats we had in the fifth row. But whatever. Alex has to talk to the company i use my card but he used his phone because he had the app so we ended up sitting third row instead of fifth row uh shout out to ryan who uh, said that we sit down and he goes hey i watch your guys videos which is always like insane to us that anybody knows who we are but money in the bank was a great show because we were sitting third row but, like, no match went over 20 minutes, and nothing was really, like, amazing. Seth and um, AJ was really good, but, like, nothing was incredible. Both Money in the Bank ladder matches was alright. The best moment was obviously Bailey winning. And then, if you didn't see my Instagram, uh, Joe sent me the picture I got on the network. As she's running back to the ring after she's done celebrating with everyone. She was celebrating. Like, we were here, and she was celebrating over there and sort of behind us. And then she walked back around, and I got a high five. And Joe sent me the screen grab of that, so I posted that immediately. Let's look at this thing. I wonder if... I forgot that last year... Or not last year. What plaque is that? Orlando, 33. They did these size plaques... And then also the large rectangular ones. So uh, hopefully they don't do any more. Because I don't really want to buy another fucking plaque. Um, but this is... They finally used a great picture. Like I'm looking at the one of Bailey. It's got the ref in it. One of Dean is alright. And the one from Becky at the Royal Rumble is like her punching Charlotte and her falling off. So she's like... This is like the most perfect thing ever. I have to experiment with one of these other plaques of like... Cutting this... BTB said he did it and then, like, vaguely explained it, so I didn't really understand. Hold on. Oh, God. But you, you can cut around it and, like, take the picture out and get it signed. I don't really want to try it on any plaque that I, like, care about, but which is all of them, so I don't know. Maybe the Dean one. If I could ever meet him, he's rumored to be doing an AEW show that I have tickets for. So, but yeah, 51 out of 350. 
actual piece of the ring canvas. God knows what match it was from. But that's a great, that's one of, this is one of the better plaques that I've, I've seen. So um, I have this one to go with the Royal Rumble one. I'm going to buy the Bailey one. She cashed in, she won and cashed in the same night. There's no way they're going to make two fucking plaques. So I'll, hopefully that'll be one sweet looking plaque. We'll have a picture, of, if I was them, I would use a picture of her holding up the briefcase and the belt. Um, but yeah, Money in the Bank was fun. Wasn't a great show. Um, no day in the life because we bought tickets at like 4.30, went up there and we didn't do anything. There will be a weekend in the life because fucking Joe Provost is coming in from Michigan to Bridgeport. We're staying at our parents' house uh, in Fairfield, and uh, he's coming in Friday night before NXT. He and I are going to hang out Sunday, sa Sunday, Saturday while Alex is working. We'll probably go to the mall, do some card hunting. I'm sure I'll waste $20 on a blaster box for the day in the life. Um, so we can show, I'll show Joe the Trumbull Mall, the Sarku and Taco Bell back to back. And then fuck around until Alex gets out between three and four. And then we'll go over to the show, um, get Duchess. Joe has to try Duchess because it's Connecticut. Uh, and then we're sitting second row for NXT. Shout out to Ramey who bought the tickets for us. Um, got a new promotion and was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Let's get tickets. And we saw a, a seating chart that was like, yeah, floor seats are 180, so we'll be good. I was like, great, we'll do it. And then the day comes around to get tickets, and they're 500 bucks plus the fees, which end up coming out to around six, almost 650 And Raymond was like, fuck it, let's do it. So we bought tickets for him, his wife, me, and Alex. We couldn't get – we had so many issues. His credit card wouldn't work. My credit card wouldn't work. And then my debit card ended up working. So he paid for them. He's paying me back. I used my debit card. Came out to like $2,500. Bucks. Um, and we couldn't get a fifth one because it would leave a single, even though a lot of people use singles and buy them, especially for wrestling. So Joe could, didn't get a ticket with us. And then the seat directly in front of my seat. So we're 13 through whatever with four of them. And then he's 13 ahead of us or 16. One of those. We're 13 through 16 or something like that. He's the seat directly in front of us. So I'll be, like, punching him in the back of the head all night during NXT. So that should be a fucking awesome time. I can't wait for that. Uh, Alex is going to Vegas soon for Double or Nothing. I'm not doing that. Uh, and then I think after that is Chicago for the National. Which I'm fucking stoked about. It'll be all of us again. Motor City Marks, Lazy Booking, myself, Alex, uh, BTB jobbing yet again. Because... He is a little, little bitch. But uh, yeah, that is uh, an eight-minute unboxing video, so I will leave you with that. We're pumped for NXT, though. Check out the Motor City Marks. I just saw they posted something about a 700 subscriber giveaway. I didn't even watch it yet, but uh, go watch it. Get them to 700. They've already surpassed Murph, which is hilarious. Um, although not unexpected, their quality is a little bit better. I mean, unless you like goalie stick reviews, then definitely check out Murph because he's reviewing a goalie stick. Uh, I think I didn't, I didn't watch it yet. Um, yeah, check out the marks. They're doing seven. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure when we met them, they had like no subscribers. So it's cool to see them grow. Fucking BTB is almost at 3000, that asshole. Um, and we're still stuck in a rut. So, uh, they're doing a motor city, motor city marks are doing a giveaway. If we can get somewhere close to 3000, I'm going to do a giveaway. I have so much shit. Uh, we're cleaning out our parents' house. I have so much shit that... if Get us to... Uh, 2500 and I do one. I have so much shit. Figures, autographs, anything. Just get us uh, more subs. We're stuck in a rut. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for more content throughout the summer. And uh, peace, love, and hugs, as Griff would say. <laughs>